It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Just come back from the supermarket and I found this Marmite Peanut Butter. I went for the crunchy version with all the nutty bits on top. Have a look at, have a look at the top of the jar. You can see, oh, it's all runny and... I think I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna be honest though, not really. I like Marmite, it's okay, but I never seem to buy it. And peanut butter's another one. I don't mind it, but I never seem to buy it. Getting it together, I might buy this more in the future. It was £2.50 for a jar of, what's the jar it's made by Unilever? It's 225 grams. Without further ado, let's get some toast in the toaster and spread some of this on. Okay, the toast is ready. That'll do, I suppose. Oh, it says give it a stir. It's made with natural peanut oil. And to stir it up. Which is cool. No artificial preservatives, I suppose, if it's just peanut oil. There's a look at it. Let's get the knife in. Oh, blimey, give it a stir. It's like tar. Oh, but look. Look at all the crunchy, that's like proper old school peanut butter that is. You can actually see the nuts. Look at that. Right, let's get on some toast. A big lump of that. And another big lump of that. Let's try it. Okay, right. So it's 87% peanuts and then 9.5% peanut oil and then yeast extract, which is, well, yeast extract powder, they said, which is essentially Marmite. Let's, let's dive in. Oh. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, that's the most brilliant thing ever. That is really tasty. Mm. So. Hence the the deep breath and the, the the chewing. It's really stodgy. I love stodgy stuff. I love battling with things in the inside of my mouth. No pun intended. Um, no jokes intended. I like battling with things inside. You know, you know when you're kind of like big mouthful of food and and it's just satisfying and then you know you've got a big mouthful of food in there and, it, and it, it's like thick and creamy and rich and it's all stuck to the inside of your mouth that's exactly what it's doing then you get loads of the peanut taste and then you get that kind of that undescribable on the finish on the back end that undescribable marmite taste on the back end it's not overpowering it's not massive bear in mind as i've mentioned earlier this is 87 percent peanuts and 9.5 percent peanut oil so between that what's the maths Ooh, 96.5 96.5 percent of this is peanut so the marmite is there but it's not overpowering Oh, 
I'm getting it more in that taste right up front. Man might to begin with. Oh, this is this is just the best invention ever. I wonder if people have been hacking this for years. This is something I've just come across in the supermarket. I would never have thought of adding Marmite into peanut butter. Somebody probably has out there. And the people at Unilever who've made this product have, product have probably thought, there's something in that. Let's use our brand Marmite stick some in some peanut butter and see how it goes. I think this is going to be a really big seller. This could be the renaissance, the return of, of Marmite. Mm. So good. Works so well. Never have I been more excited about food in a while. Breakfast food, I mean, for me, breakfast generally consists of a slice of toast, two slices of toast and some butter. That's my breakfast. I've still got most of this jar. I'm gonna be enjoying this for the next week or two. Really, really, really good Wholesome. I mean, I'm a wholemeal bread eater. Peanuts are healthy. Marmite's healthy. Dare I say it. Um, it's vegan. There's no animal product in this at all. A few vegans and flexitarians out there. Or vegetarians. This is this is a vegan or vegetarian product. Oh, um, I want another slice. There's a reason I don't eat peanut butter. Let me get the jam. My wife buys this American stuff from Costco. Where is it? There it is. I won't be a sec. She buys this American stuff, smooth, and it's just a bit, look at the difference, look at the difference in, in peanut butters. I know you can, you can buy a smooth version of this if you want it to look like paste, you, you can buy that, but I much prefer, look at the difference. I'm just not really a fan of this Skippy stuff. Um, my wife loves it. We go to Costco just to just to pick up some Skippy. But why go to Costco when you can go to Morrison's and buy some Marmite peanut butter? Um, rich in vitamin B, B12 as well, which pretty good and no added sugar really healthy honestly let's have a look at the fat contents and stuff oh let, let's read the description a new crunchy peanut butter with a distinctive mammoi twist uh we get it it's totally nuts simply spread on your morning bagel or crumpet and enjoy or some toast as i do um nutrition nutrition where are we so saturated fats per 50 gram serving, 0.9% or or 0 0.9 grams, sorry, 4.4% 4 .4 of your, 4% of your daily recommended saturated fat is 15, 15 grams of this. I don't even think I had 15 grams, did I? Amazing, amazing. Right, um, rating. I'm going to say it one more time. This stuff is mad. 
it's mad. As as Ma might have said, we know it's totally nuts. It is totally nuts <laughs> in more than one way. Um, but it, it's fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. Please go out and try it. Marmite peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth, whatever. I chose the crunchy. That for me is a 10 out of 10. That's the best. That's made my mornings for breakfast forever. As long as this product's out there, forever. 10 out of 10. And even after that, if they stop making it, if it don't work, I'll be buying some Marmite and I'll be sticking it in my wife's peanut butter and mixing it in uh, on my toast. 10 out of 10. If you liked the video, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!